Very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Hull have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So off we go then. Hoists it forward. Turns and goes back. Pings it out wide. More than happy to take the muscular approach. It's on a plate. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? He's had a go. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Forward it goes. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Still goalless. Played towards the front men. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, good interception. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Looks to clip it forward. Gets away from his opponents. Oh, it's opened up, and the shot! Oh, denied brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Great leap! Quite meet it right. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. Face to face chance. Oh, great save, real class. 
Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. That's a good ball to find him. Tries to stroke it through. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And the counter is on. And there is the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. <laughs> Reflections on the first half. And they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Already up and running for the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they... Has a hit! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Dinamo Zagreb really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. It's got through, big chance! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Tries to get it forward quickly. Played into the middle. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Battles to win it back. Dashing forward at pace. Go back to the keeper. Livakovic gets it upfield. Gets the better of his man. That's surely a foul free kick. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. And that's been leave it clear. Katarine. Oh, that's neat. Swung in towards the middle. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. Seventy-five minutes played. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? 
Dinamo Zagreb showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Sweeps it out of harm's way. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Mm -hmm. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Hull take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Beautifully done. Keeper's ball. And that will be the final act. Hull hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes... It comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.